kiss for you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, this will be the part two of my video series on WhatsApp status saver app using Android Studio. Alright, guys. So, as you can see, I already have created the project, and now in this video, first of all, we will add the dependencies for our project. So, let's go to uh, build dot gradle, and uh, first of all, here. I will tell you uh, a short introduction of which uh, libraries we will be using. So first of all, we will use the butter knife library and I will introduce you to this library and you should use it because it is for the view binding. So you don't need to specify and uh, write the find view by ID and everything all that. All right. So you can easily bind your views inside your uh, Java class. So for that, uh, button type class is uh, used. So for this uh, button knife class, what I am going to tell you is uh, we can write implementation, and here what we can do, we can write com dot button knife. 8.5.1 okay so because uh, i am using the lower version of uh, butter knife because it's this version uh, 10.0 it uh, uses the android x so that's why since we are not using the android x so i am not using that version but if you are uh, if you are using the android x then you should use the latest version of this butter knife. All right, and then we also need the annotation processor. And here you can we can write check button butter knife slash compiler, and it will also be of the same version. All right, so. These are the dependencies for the butter knife and after this we will be using the SDP. It is used for the SDP, uh, I mean the dimensions for our views. So it is a very popular library and you should also use it. So basically what you do is you don't need to write uh, like 10 DP or 20 DP. So you will write 20 SP or 10 SP okay so it will uh, automatically optimize the size of your views based on the screen dimension all right so that's why we use it so for this we can write so please uh, follow me and from uh, each step if you have no idea what I am talking about then you can always comment down below and I will answer all of your comments all right so here we will have the comb dot into it dot stp stp android and it will be of version 1.0.6 all right so this is the library which we will be using and after this another library which we are going to use is the picasso as you may know that it is the most uh, popular library for image loading and uh, and to display the images efficiently so for this we can use the picasso and it will be 2178 28 all right and after this we will be using the exo player but i will add the dependencies mm -hmm. later so another and the last thing which we, uh, the dependency which we need is the material design dependency so for this we will just uh, change it and it will be for design library all right and yes now we can easily click on sync now all right so now it will uh, take a couple of minutes to compile okay so it is saying there is an error and i may have missed uh, something here
let me see which is the mistake Yes, there was this mistake and yes, now if we try again. Still there is some problem, I don't know what is the problem. So I will uh, pause the video. Okay, so the problem was here I used this dot, so instead of uh, this, so here now the error will be removed. Alright, so now again I am facing this error. Let me just uh, copy the Picasso dependency and add it here and for this uh, SDP so we will just copy it. and if we go and try again and yes finally the error has been removed i don't know what was the error so basically now what we are going to do is we are first of all uh, going to design our main activity or okay so before that we can have uh, we can have another activity and that will be the splash activity so for that we can use this splash activity and after this we need to go to our manifest and for this uh, main activity we need to uh, use this splash activity and for this splash activity we can simply say main activity and for this splash activity we need the theme to be with no action bar and also with the main activity okay so we will do that later so for this splash we can simply we need to use the relative layout and for now we can simply say for the background color primary and then we can have a text view and in order to display it at the center so we can simply say center in parent and we will make it true then we can say text it will be whatsapp status save with pro and text size will be 20 sp and yes so you can see we can use this 20 sp and text color will be white all right and after this inside our splash activity what we are going to use is we are going to use the handler for our delayed so we need uh, some delay then we need to open the main activity so for that we can use handler equal to new handler and for this we make sure that you select this android.os then we can simply say handler dot post delay new runnable and in the after this we need a delay in milliseconds so for this we can say uh, let's say 1300 milliseconds so it means that 
for uh, 1300 milliseconds it means 1.3 seconds all right so inside this after this second what we are going to do is we are going to uh, open this new uh, i mean the main activity so for that we can say splash activity dot this and then we can say main activity dot class and finally we can start our activity and then we also need to finish it all right so after this after this 1.3 second this main activity will be opened so all right so now we are going to start work on our main activity and uh, for this uh, main activity what we are going to do let me show you okay so now we are uh, going to use the I mean we are first of all uh, going to use the fragments and for that we will be using the view pager and then we will be using the tab layout all right so first of all let's go to our main activity and for this main activity first of all let's make it the relative layout and then what we are going to do we are going to use a toolbar and before that we can use the app bar okay so i think we did not uh, integrate the material design dependency so i will just include it like this So we need to click on sync now so that we have the material design dependency so because we need to use the app bar layout for our toolbar so here we can say app bar layout and it will be match parent and wrap content then inside this app bar layout we are going to use a toolbar and this toolbar will be match parent and wrap content and its background will be color primary then we are going to use some uh, the theme of it so i think we okay so here we can say uh, what we are going to do is we need to use the theme or we can say pop-up theme and this pop-up theme we will be using style slash theme overlay dot app compact dot light all right and after this app bar layout now we are uh, going to use the tab layout so for the tab layout we can simply say tab layout and it will be match parent and wrap content then we need to set the id and the id will be tabs layout then we can say tab indicator color tab indicator color and it will be white then we need to use the tab indicator height and it will be 2 dp then we need to use the tab selected text color and it will also be white all right so after this uh, tab layout okay so this uh, tab layout will be inside this app bar layout all right and after this we are uh, we are now going to use the view pager so for this we can say view pager and it will be match parent match parent but it needs uh, to be this below uh, tab layout or you can say app bar layout so here we can say id to be app bar layout and we need to use the view pager and it will be below app bar layout all right so 
this will be the view pager with the fragments and uh, uh, these things with this will be the uh, tab layout and this one will be the toolbar all right so that is it so now we can easily set the id of our view pager and there we have this view pager and for the main activity what we are going to do we first of all we need to bind the view so for this we use the button knife uh, library so there we can say bind view and for there we can say r dot id dot toolbar okay so i think we did not set the id for our toolbar so for this toolbar so we can say toolbar main activity now we can simply say toolbar main activity then we need to use the toolbar and make sure that you select this android.sport.v7 widget and there we can use this toolbar all right so after this we are now need to use i mean bind the tab layout so for that we can say tab layout and there we can simply say tab layout then after this we need to use um, we need to bind the view pager so we can say view pager and there we can simply say this view pager all right and for this we first of all need to initialize the button knife so we can say button knife dot bind and this all right so this is the way of using the button knife library in android studio so now first of all we need to set the toolbar and then we need the user permission okay so for this we need to use the user permission and it will be to read i mean read and uh, write to the external storage because we need to read the external uh, i mean the external storage for the status and then if we want to download the status so we need the write permission also so for this first of all we need to go to our manifest file and here we first of all need to use the permission and it will be write external storage then we will be requiring the read external storage okay so yes here now we can simply say set support action bar and it will be toolbar so now for this uh, i mean we need to use and we need to create a new class and it will be the permission utils so okay so i don't uh, put more emphasis on the user permission so i will not do it in this uh, video series but i will create a separate video series for this uh, the uh, user permission so you can follow that video all right guys so i think that is enough for this video if you like the video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you goodbye